the tourism season is officially opened and the Ministry of Tourism hosted a church service followed by a meet and greet that included stakeholders, students and persons involved in the tourism industry. With us today, we were lucky enough to run into the newly crowned Miss SVG 2022, Miss Jada Ross herself. Hi, Jada. Hello, how are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> Thank you for joining us here today. So this is your first official duty as Miss SVG. Tell us about that. It is indeed, and I cannot help but be filled with glee. The only expression that I have is a smile after the show coming off of adrenaline. But I am extremely excited for this tourism season that is approaching and the Ministry of Tourism, they have a lot in store for you guys and for the upcoming cruise season that we are going to grow. Jada, we know that you work within the tourism industry, so this must be an exciting period for you and your place of work. Correct. Also, I have been thinking about pursuing the degree with regard to tourism and hospitality because being a front desk supervisor now, I have been gaining a newfound passion for hospitality and serving people. And with this title, as you guys know, it comes with a scholarship. And I've been thinking that that's a degree I'm going to try to get the highest in. All right. So what what of advice would you have for Vincentians to encourage them to continually support persons involved in the industry so that we can all benefit? The biggest benefit with regard to tourism in St. Vincent and the Grenadines would obviously be the growth of our economy. But in order for it to even skyrocket into more things, it is important for us to be walking billboards, tell others of SVG because there are different ways in which people can know of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. However, if they are to hear it from word of mouth, it means more. When they're able to realize how passionate people are about their countries, then they could really say, I really should visit this place and that in turn is going to cause additional revenue for St. Vincent and the Grenadines and we are going to grow. Finally, can you tell us how do you see yourself in this new vein as Miss SVG 2022? How will you use your title to further push the name of St. Vincent? I believe that right now I am an example for young girls and even women my age or probably older in St. Vincent and the Grenadines currently. So what I would do is something as small as being participative in the events that we're going to have this tourism season. And I know for a fact that people are going to be looking on and they may be inspired and they may take the initiative to participate in these events or to make sure that we keep tourism alive in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, whether it be to just keep their areas and their surroundings clean. 